It is through tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that each and every one of us are able to be present to mourn this lady. There is nothing else aside from tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that has given you and I the opportunity to lament and mourn this noble lady and her unborn son alayhim salam There could have been many reasons as to why we would not have known of this noble woman and her dear son had it not been for the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So firstly, we thank Allah for granting us this understanding of such a family, this love for such a family. But ultimately, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our ma'rifa, our understanding and cognizance of this family because it's through understanding them and only through them can we truly reach proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and therefore increase our ma'rifah of Allah. And for sure, anyone in this life who has true cognizance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to succeed in this world. It's no surprise that Amir al muminin goes to say that by the Lord of the Kaaba, I am successful. And it was Amir al muminin who had true ma'rif of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tonight you've made a decision to leave whatever it is at home, to leave whatever TV program it was at home, to leave whatever ease of the sofa it was at home, to be a little bit more uncomfortable, solely for a reason that each of us need to truly identify. And I say this at the beginning of any program, which is look, this can be a Saturday night, or if it's any other week of the night, but this could be any Saturday night for you, or it can be an ascension. It can be any old week, any old day, any old time, or it can be a specific moment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew that you were going to make this very decision to come out on this night to commemorate this holy household. But why? What is it about this night that could be the written chapter in your book, in my book? Because honestly, we can spend the next two hours here together and mourn and inshallah shed a tear and that be the end of it. Nothing changes, Sadiq remains Sadiq, Muhammad remains Muhammad, Fatima remains Fatima. No difference. Or it can be a new chapter or it can be a conclusion to a chapter that you're embarking on. And it can be part of that book that concludes with you going to the next volume, which is the understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. But in order to make that happen, you consciously, and I consciously, must make a decision. Now what is this trip about? What is this night about? We go to ziyarah, many of us have been to ziyarah, inshallah. If we haven't, we pray to Allah, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the visitation of Ali Muhammad alayhim salam wherever they are buried. That we pray that when we go on these journeys, that we increase our understanding of them. We see in the ziyarah, it says, Arifun bihaqqifun. That we increase this understanding of them. And it's the same when you attend the majalis of Ahlul Bayt salam. That you can either when you go to ziyarah, you turn up, you cry, you come home, done. Post the picture, finished. The same that you come to majlis, you come, you check in, you put it on your Instagram, done, finished. Or you always know there's that one guy in that ziyarah group who you see it's a transformative time for them. That actually the time you see them two months later, you're like, whoa, this brother or the sister has changed. That visitation of Hussein did something for them. And there's me, I invested my money and time and nothing changed. Similarly, you see people come out of Muharram and you're like, whoa, they've changed. And I'm still the very same. And Fatimiyah and Muhsiniyah really comes at a time where perhaps 
the energy level of Muharram and Arba'een has started to dissipate a bit. And subhanAllah, we have three narrations to elongate this understanding of Fatima to Zahra and her family. So look, the decision is for you and I to make at this point. Either it's an average night, either it's normal, either tomorrow I wake up and I'm the same person, or actually tonight is the start of that new chapter, is the start of that new volume. It doesn't matter how loud it is, it doesn't matter how quiet it is, it doesn't matter how busy it is, it doesn't matter how cramped you are. Ultimately, it's your soul's journey tonight. And it's whether say the Fatima and Hazrat Muhsin alayhim salam whether they sincerely see your sincere devotion and love and conviction in them to seek nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.